Hello, Greater Portland family and friends. This is Pastor Brad filling in for Pastor Adams on this week's update for Thursday, March 11. It's hard to believe it, but we are just three and a half weeks away from Easter Sunday. You know, Easter provides a great opportunity for us to invite friends and loved ones to come to church, especially if they do not attend a good Bible-believing church of their own. Our Easter service will express the fact that because Jesus is risen, Hope is here. There will be beautiful music, a moving drama, and an opportunity to hear about the hope that is found in Jesus Christ. I hope we'll see you there. You know, this last week, we changed the reader board in front of our building to read, Church is Essential, in-person services Sunday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 7 p.m. Well, praise the Lord, we had visitors this last Sunday who saw the sign and came back to church for the very first time. While we're thankful to be able to meet for in-person services, we do need to continue to follow the health and safety guidelines you've been hearing. Please wear a mask when entering the building, moving around inside the building, or when talking to other people. Use hand sanitizer and wash your hands frequently. Please don't shake hands or hug. Practice social distancing. In the auditorium, sit in the green marked areas only. Don't congregate in the aisles or the foyer. And very important, stay home if you or a family member is sick or if you've been exposed to someone with COVID. Praise the Lord, there's no one in our church family that we know of with COVID at this time. For that, we're thankful. Please pray that God will continue to protect our church family and pray that God will stop this pandemic. Please continue to pray for those members of our church that are on the front line in this pandemic serving in the medical field. We have several, you've heard us call their name, Rosalie Liggett, Olga Arvello, Barbara Hurd, Sergio Cruz, Rufus and Dee Johnson, Mary Strickland, Natalie Weaver, Jessica Johnson and Brian Lockhart, and of course, Dr. Bob Sason at the Good News Clinic. And while we're not able to run our buses and vans right now to pick up children, our bus captains continue to stay in contact with their riders and we're praying we will soon be able to resume bringing them to church. Each Sunday, our children's pastor, Scott McFeeders, records a special online super church, especially for those children who are not able to come to church right now. You can watch these services right here on our YouTube channel. And of course, Pastor Andrew Watson ministers through the Ignite Teens online Sundays at 4 p.m. on Facebook. Ladies, we, we need your help. As we begin restarting various parts of our ministry and as more folk come back for in-person worship, we see the need to restart our nursery. So will you help us? Please go to our church app or on the church website at greaterportland.org and fill out the simple informational questionnaire and we'll be t in touch with you about how you can help us in the GPBC nursery. I wanna thank you again for your faithfulness in giving your tithes, your missions and your dream offerings. Your faithfulness ensures the needs of our church and those of our missionaries around the world are met. So please continue to give. You can give online through the church app or in the giving boxes at the back of the auditorium. Please pray for the folks in our church uh, who continue to battle with cancer. There's Trinidad Gallegos, George Stevenson, Janet Elaine Huxel, Joan Craven. Pray for Mamie Carter, who will be having a biopsy this next week. Please pray for Helen Cooper. She's recovering from hip surgery and pray for Al and Janice Sanders as well as Ed and Sue Schneibel who are dealing with Alzheimer's and memory care issues in their family and just need God's blessing. Pray also for Leonard Randall with several health issues and Bob and Marilyn Wood who've both been put on hospice. Please remember to pray for Bill German who's still seeking answers on how to address the debilitating back and his back pain he has. If you would pray for God's healing touch on Brother Lucian as he recovers from his recent fall. And pray for Zaldi Macalanda, who's suffering from severe vertigo, a detached retina, and serious diabetes issues. And I say if you have a prayer request, please call the church office or fill out the connection form on our website or the church app and let us know that we can pray for you. Praise the Lord, Greater Portland Christian Academy continues to have in-person classroom teaching. Pray that God will continue to bless and protect our teachers and students. And continue to pray for God to work in the hearts of our leaders here in America. Pray for our president, Joe Biden, and our vice president, Kamala Harris. Uh, don't forget, this Sunday, 
March 14th is time change. It's time to spring forward so that you aren't late for church on Sunday. So be sure to mark that down if you would. And remember, hope changes everything. We love you. and We're looking forward to worshiping with you again this Sunday. God bless you. We'll see you soon.